Hello folks, I'm here at Tequila Modern Cuisine. This is in uh, South Haven, Mississippi. Um, never been here before. Uh, it sounds like a place that I would like to go to because they spelt tequila wrong. And I don't have a problem with that because I say things wrong on purpose on my channel. So, place to be. So let's go in and see what kind of food they got. I'm going to say Mexican. I'm just going to throw that out there, educated guess. Uh, but we're going to try to see if the music's not too loud and get a video for you. So after the intro, see you inside. sitting down eating our um, complimentary um, tortilla chips and uh, we have the uh, just regular salsa and then the ver salsa verde um, the chips by themselves are pretty good they season them pretty good I'm not sure if you can see that too great but um, we ordered chicken wings um, we went the buffalo he said the the habanero one mango was habanero. Ma mango habanero. I, I like mango with habanero, but he said it was spicy. He's actually of Mexican descent, so I'm pretty sure it's pretty spicy if he says he doesn't even do it. Uh, but uh, if you like hot, you might want to try that. But we went to Buffalo. He said that's just a little spicy. Uh, and then we have the street corn on the cob. She's, I don't believe it, but she says she's never had street corn on the cob. Not that I can recall. I don't think I have. I don't think they put um, American Whip on it. It might be even better, but um, I think it's mayo instead of butter. They, they do mayo on it. I never knew that until I started eating it. I said, man, this is really good. Um, but and they use mayo so um, I don't know how they do the recipe here but we'll, we'll check it out and I'll taste it to see if it tastes like the other ones that I had because you never had it before so you might be like it might be a little different but um, I'm not a fan of salsa verde I'm really not like that much but this actually um, is really good um, the, the salsa here is a little runny here. I like it a little thicker, but the taste is there. Um, I do like that. So um, I'm gonna shut up now. When the food comes out, we will uh, be right back with you, unless you have anything else you wanted to, to say. Nope. No? Well, what, you know what, I have to now. What is your first, when you walked in, what did you think before you walked in, and what do you think now, like other place? Like, it's very 
very fancy looking. Swanky. For she, it to be a Mexican restaurant. Yeah, she um. She's, yeah, it looks like you should come in here dressed up to come in here. That's the look that I got when I came in the door, and she says it was. Uh, she didn't know it was this fancy, and then she looked at me. So I'm like, I should have threw my dress Crocs on. Um, yeah. They are dress crocs people, but I got my bling uh, shoes on uh, with uh, the green, neon green. It's, it's very, like, vibrant. It's very vibrant. You know, that's, that's red, green, and is it blue? I mean, I'm not dressed up either. Yeah. I just didn't know, like, people that are in here are kind of, like, dressed casually. Like, yeah. Like, fancy restaurant dress, like. Yeah. I'm just dressed like I'm in, just come out the pen. Yeah. Yeah. You saw the khaki pants, like the khaki color pants and the white shirt. Yeah. So, I'm in the gang. You look like you just stepped fresh off the farm. Fresh mm -hmm. off the farm. See what she did there? All the chickens. Yes. I, I can dress like this. I'm a chicken farmer. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, we're going to shut up now. And what I thought before, I, well, I thought, I thought the same thing. I thought it was going to be kind of nice. Because the outside looks really nice. I mean, the outside, look, I've been to places where the outside look like a nice building, and then when you come in. They tricked in, you. Yeah. Curb appeal. Like, the furniture <laughs> is nice. The lighting is yeah. very nice. And you got, like, an upstairs. She'll, ha she'll have to see the upstairs when she watches my video because she hasn't gone up there, but I went with you guys already. So, it is. It's pretty nice. Yeah, it'd be it's a really nice. nice place. They got up. a nice bar with the TVs. They got the games playing. But everything is nice. All the waiters and waitresses are dressed nice. It's a fancy little place. Yes. Okay. Well, let me shut up and let these uh, other people enjoy their food. And uh, we're going to snack on these chips until the food comes out. Yeah. And then we'll get back with you. Yeah, I'm going to say so far so good. Because I don't ever, when we go to Mexican restaurants, I don't ever eat chips. No, yeah, she's, but I think she's they snacking. Make yeah, they, they so that's less good. food she has to buy of the regular food. We're going to get a second of this then. No. <laughs> okay. See you in a bit. Okay, we got our food, guys. Um, this is Mexican street corn. Um, it came with uh, the one on the plate. Uh, you want to try it out? I would have got two if I just knew it was one piece of corn. I don't have to try it. I, I've had it before if you just want to have it. Tastes okay? Can you tell us that's mayo on there? Like, okay. And they give you a lime on there too if you want to put put a lime on there. I've already got a little bit on my shirt um, from the salsa, so don't don't wear white. Uh, don't wear white when you're um, going to eat uh, Mexican. I was trying to tone it down without putting my. Um, Ooh, you okay? Yeah, I don't like it with Ooh, the lime. Whoa, she don't like it with the lime. You already put the lime all over it? No, just on that part of it. Oh. You missed all of it. Okay. It's good. It is good. Uh, I, I did taste a little bit of the lime she put on there, but I'm not... Uh, you good right now? Doing good, yes, sir. you like a few minutes to order? You already know? Okay, go ahead. Can I have the fish tacos? Fish tacos? You like them on corn or flour tortilla? Corn. And can I have the enchilada verde? Enchilada verde? Yeah. And then I did the chicken torta. Chicken torta? Yes, sir. With the bacon on the side? Oh, then. yes. Bacon on the side. Bacon on the side? Yes, sir. Do you mind if I get those menus? Oh, okay. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, and here is the buffalo chicken. I'm going to try. Oh, wow. I like it. As soon as I touched it, my mouth was already liking it because it has crisp, pillowy, like crisp texture with a soft inside. <laughs> exactly how I like it. And it's spicy. I can feel it right here, and you can hear it right here. Very, very good.
This is good. Their buffalo sauce has like the sweet taste to it mm -hmm. as well. It's like spicy and a hint of sweet. I like it. I like it. And I, the fact that they're still crispy, which is good to know that sauce is good. I like to bake my chicken wings and then at the end I put the sauce in the pan and, and heat it up pretty hot and do the sear on the outside. I'm not sure how they do it, but it tastes really good. These are good chicken wings. I'm glad you decided to get them. I was going to say I'm glad. I wasn't going to try them. Really good. Okay, well, I ordered um, the chicken torta with the bacon on the side um, so we can both try it. And what um, would you order? A fish taco and something else? And a um, chicken enchilada verde. Okay. If I would have to compare these wings, like the flavor of the sauce to anything. They taste almost kind of like Uncle Lou's chicken. Like a little sweet and who's, spicy. Who's Uncle Lou? Huh? Who's Uncle Lou? I don't have Uncle Lou. No, for real, but I've never heard of Uncle Lou. Uncle Lou's is a chicken place in Memphis. Okay, it's a Memphis. Okay. So people that's not near Memphis probably wouldn't know either, but now you know. So They might because it was on the Food Network. Oh. Well, they must have some good chicken if it tastes like this. So, I was I was very surprised, and you probably saw my eyeballs light up as soon as I touched that, because that's why, because it had the, the crisp outside, and the uh, inside was juicy and good. And a fair warning, if you can't handle hot sauce hot, you can't eat these, because they're a little, little hot. having to drink just a little bit, but not... You know, yeah. consistently to enjoy. It, it's, it's tingly still, but it's not hot. Um, it's a little bit more than Louisiana hot sauce, yeah. I'll say. A little bit more than that. So, okay, we're going to enjoy this, and then when we get the um, main course, we're going to be right back with you. Okay, folks, the food came out. Um, I got the chicken torta here. I'll put a, I'll just put it on the screen for you guys while I talk about it. Um, but you got fries, the steak fries, uh, with the chicken torta. It has tomatoes, lettuce, onions uh, on here, and a chicken. If I didn't say, and then here is the uh, the bacon, and you have got fish tacos and chicken enchilada verde. Okay. Well, we're gonna. I'm gonna try this one out. Do uh, you want to try this out with me? Okay. It has grilled onions. I'm not sure if it's not grilled enough for you, because I know you like you get along like the sautéed. Really juicy. It's okay. The chicken is not that seasoned to me. Yeah. It's not seasoned. And I would like some kind of sauce on that. But it does have a nice crisp uh, toasted uh, bun. A torta shell or what? Torta bread. Mm -hmm. But um, it's better with bacon, so are you done with this one? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put the bacon on my plate. And you got, what kind of fish? Do you know what kind of fish? I think it was grilled snapper. Grilled snapper. But here, you take one. I'll take one of them. And that's the sauce right here that came and you get, I don't know if you wanna taste it. Without the sauce first? I'll taste without first, but what kind? You get two different. You get flour and corn tortilla. Corn, and I told the corn tortilla. The corn. And of my least favorite, I think it's corn or the tortillas. Really? Yes. If it's too corny. No, not, not me. I don't. Know. Yeah, I'm a. This is actually not bad for a corn tortilla, but um, I'm still going to say I would like the flour, probably. I've never had it from here, but take a little bit. Okay. And I don't know what kind of sauce this is, but... I don't either, but I hope it's good. It's spicy. Yeah. So no more for you? 
have it for your sandwich. I just want to put some on this one. Right. It's a little spicy. I'm not really sure what kind of sauce it is. I can ask. I think it has a little bit of habanero maybe. I'm feeling it in my stomach. It, it, it passed my throat to my stomach, so that means it's a little hotter than a jalapeno. So that's my my take on how hot food is. So it's it's hotter than a jalapeno. The tacos are pretty good. All the veggies in there are fresh. Yeah, it, all? Like, it has like cabbage, onions, some kind of, maybe those are sweet peppers or something. And I think cilantro is in there. Uh, yeah, I taste the cilantro. So if you guys do not like cilantro, you might not like it because it, it has some cilantro in it. And that's your fork, right? Yeah. And I'm just going to take a bite of this and then I'm going to go back to my plate. So, this is called the enchilada. The chicken enchilada verde. Mm. Oh, it has queso on here. Don't say queso cheese, guys. That means cheese cheese. I was trying to get I see. Well, thank you. Here we go. Oh, wow. I like that. Yeah, that's really good. Now you say you don't like verde. I don't, well, the verde here is good because the verde salsa I like, and this verde is really good. This uh, this is the best out of everything that I tasted except the chicken wings. It's like close, but this is really good. Yeah. So. Now you said that the chicken wings are a, a, a best seller during lunchtime. Yeah. This is good though. I'm gonna let her eat her food, but I'm gonna eat the rest of this. Uh, but all in all, um, we're having a good time here. Um, we will probably talk to you when we get in the car. Uh, we'll wrap it up unless she wants dessert. Uh, then, not me. But then um, uh, we'll wrap it up in the car if we don't eat any more after this. Okay? I'm glad I got this. Yeah. yeah. It is good, folks. So if you ever come here, I would recommend appetizer would be chicken wings. And uh, the, for the main course, I would recommend the chicken, salsa, verde, enchilada. Did I say it correctly? Maybe. It's something like that. <laughs> just, just the pull, chicken, verde, enchilada. Just pull up my video and show them the, uh, the enchilada that she has, okay? Okay, all right. Be back in a bit. Okay, we had got dessert. Um, didn't even know how much this is, but I'll know when I see this check. Uh, but uh, creme brulee, but no matter the cost, it's worth it. Because I'm, because she's sitting right beside me, I have to say that. <laughs> it's supposed to be cold? Okay, because I don't think I've ever had a creme brulee. I don't know. I'm not a fan of it. So this one is a coconut creme brulee. Mm. I got more coconut right there, so it evened it out. It didn't. Ha I must have got a piece where there's no coconut. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not a fan of the the, the caramelization crunch at the at, when you're done because it sticks inside my teeth. Yeah. But I have one more. You forced me. But we're going to wrap this up by saying um, put the bacon on the chicken torta. That actually gave it really good flavor, so it actually turned out to be good. Uh, and I didn't say anything about the steak fries. The steak fries are actually really good. I really like those. Is that what you call those, the steak fries? I, I, I got a picture of it for you, but I uh, forgot to talk to you about it. Is there anything else you want to wrap this up? No? I would, I would come back here and revisit again. I would definitely get the, the chicken wings again. I, even though I like the chicken verde, I would want to try something else. Yeah. Like, 
I wouldn't want a pizza. I mean, I wouldn't mind coming and getting the chicken wings and the, the, the verde into the olive oil, but I think next time I come back, I'm just going to try something yeah. different. Totally different. Yeah. I right, up so your offer to take me. <laughs> okay, well guys, thank you very much for uh, checking the video out. Um, we're going to do more reviews uh, soon for you. I'm headed out of town, so when you see this, I'm probably on the way back from Alabama, but uh, we'll do some more reviews. Um, and if you're in the South Haven area, um, come check uh, tequilas out. Um, Tequila Martin. Modern Mexican. Because I think outside I said tequila cuisine, but it's te tequila modern Mexican. Okay, well I'm going to go ahead and, and shut this down, but thank you very much guys. Please subscribe, um, share with your friends, family, even your boss. Hit the like button if you like it, and until next time, see ya. Hey, thanks for watching the video again. If you haven't visited my website yet, um, the the address is www.dougarbagedisposalstore.com. You can navigate through the top, all these links right here. Um, there is actually a question and comment form. If you have any questions or comments, uh, fill that out, and it'll go straight to my email. At the very bottom, there is a free newsletter. Just sign up for right here, um, and you'll get a weekly newsletter. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit see all so you get all the notifications and don't miss the videos. Please comment. I like to um, listen to your comments uh, and respond to you. So I do like to interact with you guys. Uh, please share the video with your friends, family, even your boss. And have a great day. Let's meet other plans.